long game. A very long game, you know, a long, lot of ways, long time wise, long the way we played. Uh, you know, we got a long way to go. And uh, we got a lot of things we got to get right. And, uh, you know, we challenge the kids this week. Every week's got to be like a state championship week from this point on. And thank goodness we won't play something like that tonight. And, uh, you know, we got to win. We got to play some young guys. That's the positive. You know, get them on film and debate with them. That's always good. So uh, we just got to go back to work Monday. And get to keep getting better. Keep working on the little things. So that's what's killing us right now. You, you were talking about halftime. You tried a lot of different combinations of players. We did. This is almost like week one again. It is. And, you know, we're, we're looking for somebody that's. It can be consistent. You know, I mean, even if it's consistently bad, it can just don't be great one play and bad and bad the next. You know, if you're consistently bad, then we understand how we've got to do fix it. But when you go from it, it, it go from being good to bad to good to bad, I don't know that there's nothing I can do to fix it other than replace it. So that's 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 what we're looking at. That's one place we play in, in, in a lot of different positions. One of the guys that you turned to was Ryan Schroeder, played both sides of the ball on the special team. Yeah, had a good night. Yeah. You know, Ryan's been working hard all year long. He's made a lot of big plays for us throughout the season. And uh, did it again tonight. You know, he's a guy that is consistent. Like I said, he's consistent every day. He's, he's the same guy every day. You know what you're going to get. Uh, he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he plays like he is. And uh, you can win with guys like Ryan Schroeder, for sure. Had a lot of distractions tonight. The homecomings next week, which scares me a lot of distractions. Really yeah, right. and you know, I, I, that scares me because our maturity level right now is not where it needs to be. And, uh, you know, if we have to, we'll coach be on the bed check and uh, do what we've got to do. But, uh, at some point, it's got to be by them. They've got to they gotta take ownership of this team. And, uh, at least we've got to step up to leaders. Well, we did win the great game. Appreciate that. Thank you. First to start with Demetrius Kemp. Uh, Really got the, got the game started on the opening kickoff. To, uh, Demetrius, what happened on that opening kickoff? Uh, I've been waiting on one of those to open up like that all year. And uh, the guys up front worked real hard and made their blocks. And I just did my part to hit the hole wide open. It's always good to get off on the right foot, but especially coming off the loss last week, to be able to start, start, punch them in the mouth right off the bat was big, wasn't it? Yes, sir. We just, we just got to uh, go back to work this week, get ready and get better every week. All right, Demetrius, thank you very much. Congratulations. Ryan, you had a little opportunity a little opportunity uh, this week. First of all, to put you back to, to return punts and put you on defense. You've been playing offense all, all season, but uh, as, as if you didn't get to come off the field very much tonight. Yes, sir. I was pretty worn out. Um. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little blinded by this light down here with Michael Clemens. But uh, Ryan, tell us about the punt return. That was obviously a big play. Not only being a hands guy back there, but showing the ability to, to break a long run on the punt return. What did you see in front of you? Well, I saw Tyler Merriweather coming, and I just got behind his block, and it was just open field after that. Defensively, I, I thought you had a fantastic night, uh, Ryan. What, what, you know, during, when did you know you were going to start defensively? What changed? Uh, Wednesday. You know I was going to start, and it just, I didn't, didn't know how to Never really played much corner except for JV games, and it was just, I, I love it. I like it. Comes natural like riding a bicycle there. Yes, sir. Ryan the Rock Schroeder, appreciate it. Congratulations. Tyler, uh, got you up here because the defense really, I thought, you know, especially in the first half, pitching the shutout in the first half and setting the tone. No matter what uh, kind of position y'all got put in, y'all answered the call. Uh, what, what kind of week of practice did y'all have to get ready? Uh, we just went back to the base. I just told them we had to just go back to work. We had the, one of the best weeks of practice we've ever had, honestly. We had championship-type ball practice defensively, and uh, I feel like we put in the work this week. A lot of different faces on defense, some, some parts still moving around. Uh, how have the guys responded to that? Uh, we're responding pretty good. We're just trying to get some guys some different looks and uh, see what works best for us, see where we can put some players at, see if they can make some plays here and there. So we're working pretty good. What, what do you got to do between now and next week? Uh, stay focused, work hard, and just keep getting better. Uh, and one last question. There, there was a lot of distractions tonight. Scoreboard's not working. The field does not like our field. And, and uh, you know, just a lot of different things were out of the ordinary. It seemed to cause us focus problems. Now, next week's homecoming. So what, what's the team got to do to, to remain focused all week? Uh, it's mainly on us. The leaders have to step up. We have to tell the guys that it's homecoming, but we got to understand we got some ball, some ball to play too. So. It's mainly on us leaders, and uh, we got to try our best to keep our heads straight. Tyler, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Tyler Merriweather.